Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many of True Night, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Last time we took a little excursion over to the Cranberry Island Bog, which I was told had some fun stuff in it, but even I wasn't expecting quite as much cool stuff as I found. I found loads of little fun stories and secrets and bunkers and supplies and all sorts of really cool stuff there. And today, we're back with the Children of Atom just for a quick rest stop. I needed to have some rad scrubbed. I needed to kind of, actually, I've needed to humiliate myself enough to buy some flipping ammo. Buying ammo! Blimey. And yes, we're going after the Vim Pop Factory. Not just for a pump regulator and for Dima's terrible secret, but apparently there's something else fun hidden away in a cupboard in there that I missed last time, so I'm definitely going to be searching around thoroughly for that. Right, lovely fresh day for us here, and I've decided to head basically straight back down to the ocean as quickly as possible. I think this area is safe because I cleared stabs with one legendary angler at the end of last part, so it should be 100% safe to just pass through this bit here. Yeah, I shouldn't even take, uh, to be honest, barely any rats at all. I'm already parched from lack of water. Never mind, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, because if I approach from the sea, I don't really want to approach from the land, because the super mutants have that area properly blockaded up if you try and approach the factory from the land. But if I approach from the sea, I might just be able to sneak in rather nicely. So let's try and do that. Interestingly, uh, the two objectives, Pump Regulator and Demon's Secret, are actually pointing me at different doors. I'm pretty sure that's actually a... Uh, no, that's not a Super Mutant up top. Just was an unfortunately placed crane that gave a bit of an odd and misleading silhouette there. Yeah, if I approach from the sea, then I should be able to sneak up here without anyone seeing what's going on. Then I can just see if I've actually got sight of anything. Reload that. I know the suicide is up top, and I'd like to snipe them off as early as possible if I could. Right, just head around here. Keep it up. Okay, now we're done that. Speaking of suiciders, I've already upset one. Good. Last thing you want is a suicider who notices you before you've noticed them. Ah, good. He's decided his ears are playing tricks on him. Well, that's marvellously good news. I think he's wrong, but... I can't see him. We're fine. Right, I need to find an entry point here. Is this massive door by any chance something I can just crack open? No. Tragically not. I can get up to... Oh, come on. Come on, game. Come on, be nice. And there's nothing here, is there? Can I just get up? Oh, please tell me there's not an invisible wall right here. That... This looks like I should be able to do this, damn it. Boo. And I've got a... Oh, I've got the suicide, but I don't have the right arm. I see him, but I don't have a view of the right arm. I only had the wrong arm, damn it. Right, I can't make it up that thing as far as I can tell. If I sneak around the bottom here, aha, that looks like a better entry point from the sea right there. But I'm concerned about that suicider. Right, just stay nice and hidden for now. I've found the Vim Pop Factory. Now I could use these tyres, if nothing else, to... Look, I know I can get up here, all right, game? You might as well just let me. Okay, I've upset a Primus nearby as well. Hopefully he's up on the roof, not nearby. Just in case. Primuses need to be taken care of, stupid noises. Yeah, Primuses may be tough, but they're no smarter than your average extremely stupid super mutant. Sorry, that's unfair to super mutants. Not all super mutants are stupid, it's just the ones in Fallout 4 all seem to be of the generations where they were very stupid. Right. No sign of trouble up top. If I can get, like, you know, an odd snipe headshot. How many vats? Oh, I've got no criticals to hand. Right. All I know is there's a suicide around the corner. That's a decent starting point, though, actually. Without a critical, nailing a suicide is a little bit on the difficult side, to be honest. Just got to... I've got to find him. I've got to see him before he sees me. Otherwise, this could be a very brief... Wait, what the... Oh, okay... Yeah, this could be a very brief indeed. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Have we got the... That'll do. That's 60% chance. I've got to get one of those shots. Unless this gun can't go through that after all. That would be annoying. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just wait for that to go up. Wait for that to go up a bit. 24. No, that's not going to fly. Oh, dear. Right, well, we've got to get him as he comes one of these two ways then. Right, okay, here we go. This will be the shot then. Right, hopefully we're far enough away from him. Yep, yeah, good. Well, we're not dead. I'll take that. And that get us our first, yeah, that got us our first. Ooh, actually, that was even better. That actually uh, kicked in. We got ourselves a full bar of critical off that one shot. That was nice. 
Okay, you're very much dead. Lovely. Grab some nuclear material off you. Interestingly, you don't seem to be producing any rads from the nuclear explosion that just happened here, but whatever. Suiciders are sometimes nice like that. Right. We've got an entry point. Problem is, there's going to be relatively few beds around here, so this is all going to have to be done neatly and basically in one go. So that's fun. Now, time to make our way up, and if we can, I'm going to go over to, yeah, stick with Gorse by default, because I know there's Primuses around here. Sorry, Primi, I suppose. And then just be ready to, oh, 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 yeah, you see, Primus right there. Though, admittedly, only level 59 doesn't seem that tough. With the sneak attack as well, I'm not going to use the critical on you. And you're silenced. Yep, fine. Goes down. Anyone suspicious of that? No. No one's suspicious. Good. Alright. Let's just go around here. Check if there's anything else I need to know in this area. Right, okay. There's another... Wait, how do I get over to... Okay, fine. So I can get up to the very roof this way. Or right now I'm on, like, not quite the very top level, but I'm close by to it. Uh, I don't feel like I'm... Oh. I see a Primus up there, mind, and he's dead. Good. He died before he could fire his flipping missile launcher. We haven't seen that for a while. Enemies flipping trolling me with missile launchers, which will just utterly straight up merge you in this mode, but that's fine. That's another Primus down, and at this point, I don't need to use a critical to kill a Primus, even a fairly high-level Primus. Unless they are ridiculously tough for some reason, I can take them out just with a single VAT shot or a manual shot. Okay, I think the way up to the roof should be pretty safe right now, but I'm going to try and clear out this level first, just in case. Got myself, aha, one entry point to the factory interior, lovely, but I wouldn't mind clearing out the exterior first. And if I can fight my way up to the roof and clear out the roof, I could use that as a good point to take out everything below me. Let's just have a little very careful peek, because this is down into the courtyard, isn't it? Yeah. There's a courtyard here, which I believe has a few different mutants. But possibly the mutants I'm thinking of are actually the ones who are up. So I've already taken out, like, both of them because it was this guy and the guy I just took out with the missile launcher. If so, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And then we've got... don't see anything in here. All right, this is going decently enough so far, at least. I mean, two Primuses dead is never a bad starting point. So we've also got another entry point here. That's the Vim Corporate Headquarters. Is that the same area? Because there, there's lots of different areas. This area is really, really flipping big. It can be difficult to navigate. So that was Corporate Headquarters. And this is the factory. Fine. So those are technically two separate areas. The factory is where my key objectives seem to be. But yeah, the Corporate Headquarters are definitely going to be worth an explore as well. I've got one glowing hound down there. I've got a tiny bit of 10mm ammo right now. Uh, enough for your level 28. Reload and just wait for... Uh, oh, come on. Stop hiding. Stop hiding down there, you. And that's a... Oh, dear. I damaged him but didn't kill him. And now someone knows I'm here. Marvellous. Fortunately, they don't seem to know exactly where I am. There's a bunch of running around, but not much else. I think these guys are going to return this way in a minute. Just going to put a grenade right there. That's killed at least one of them. Good. One more level 8 hound uh, who's running around so fast it's going to be hard to get a bead on him. But I'll take a couple of... Yeah, look at that. I can get so many shots off. I'll take a 50-50 on the head. Now I'm technically in danger, but I'm not actually sure if they have a way of getting up to me, to be honest. Even if they know where I am... I don't think anyone down there can actually get up to me. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be able to follow me very easily there. In which case, I'm now going to nip up to the roof for a second. Because from the roof, I should be able to... Yeah, from the very top, I should be able to clear out any of the guys at the front. Because I want this place entirely cleared out. Because I want to be able to search it thoroughly. Because yeah, I'm told there's a really fun Easter egg in here. Which if you search the place thoroughly enough, you can find locked away in a cupboard. So I definitely want to be doing that. I've already taken out Primus upstairs. Should be alright, and yeah, I think we're okay. I feel like there's there's going to be soup mutants inside this interior. I swear I remember that from last time. Though, also, do not forget all the different Vims, because the Vims are actually very, very flipping powerful. And also, we've got an R&D terminal here. Let's just have a quick look-see what we've got in the lore. 
Vim recipes. Aha! Vim recipes have been downloaded. Nice. Well, that's good. I think I actually missed that last time. I can't remember getting that. So, internal mail. Message from D. Reed. Just do your best. Iris, I know it sounds stupid, but Norman knows this business. If he says the market research is showing that our best brand awareness tactic is to play up the regional speciality angle, then I'm sure he has the numbers to back that up. I'm not asking you to work a miracle, at least try it. For what it's worth, I have no idea what the taste of Maine means either, but I have the utmost confidence in you, Doyle Reed. So they were tasked with creating regional varieties of Vim, but they didn't know what certain regions ought to taste like. Fine. Weird expense reports. Mrs. Mason, I'm going to need you to explain a few things before I can authorise these expense reports. I'm seeing nearly $10,000 spent at a fish market. Is that right? What on earth are you spending that much money on at the fish market? Probably fish, to be honest. I really can't believe this. Marketing wants me to develop a new drink, and all they've given me to go on is the taste of Maine. I swear to God, Norman just thinks if you can string a few words together, things will just magically appear. What does that even mean? Fine, they want the taste of Maine. That's what we'll give them which was possibly fish. We took bottles of Vim Classic and brewed it up with fiddleheads, lobster shells, and a couple of other extracts, and I was sure this thing was going to be absolutely disgusting. The thing is, it definitely tastes kind of weird, but it's actually not as terrible as I thought. Maybe if we work on the flavour profile a bit, cloves or aster extract, what the hell, we can try taste testing it. At least it will keep them off my back while I figure something else out. I just got the label proofs from Mr. Reed. They're actually going forward with this crazy thing. Despite taste testers saying it has a fishy taste, they all seem to actually be liking it. The aster extract seems to cover up the aromatics of the lobster, somehow. I really can't explain why anyone likes this thing. Apparently they're going to call it the Captain's Blend, at least for now. Some of our taste testers have reported having weird smelling sweat after drinking Captain's Blend. I mean, I'm not really surprised, there is a lot of lobster in there, but it gets loads weirder from there. One of the testers says he's a commercial fisherman and he just loves the taste. He's been buying cases of the testers to bring out on his boat. The weird thing is that he claims when he's been drinking Captain's Blend, the lobsters are less prone to attack him when he takes them out of the cages. It sounds ridiculous, but what if it was actually true? And that is the final note here for now, right? At its most extreme, I would like to actually believe this is some form of terrifying explanation for the Myalert Kings insofar as the fact that they look so different from the Myalert Kings we've seen elsewhere in Fallout, that actually the Myalert Kings we encounter are fishermen who drank too much of the Captain's Blend and became lobster men. That's... Slightly ridiculous, but not entirely impossible. Though maybe, actually, I've not actually checked this. Maybe some of the variations of uh, the Vim actually do give you, like, the ability to pacify Myalex? I genuinely don't know. Anyway, let's get back to business here, because we're not done with this area. There's definitely more going on here. Another door into the factory. Sure, but something else around here is dangerous first. Right, here we are right up top. So that building over there is the corporate headquarters, and then this building behind me here is the Vim factory floor, where both of my objectives are. But clearly, there's something else going on here in the corporate HQ that isn't connected to either of the objectives I've got. And first, I've got... Wait, if I just... Oh, no, I don't need to worry about dropping down here. I can get back up again very nice and easily. Ah! Missile launcher! This will be where the bloody Primus was then. So from up here... I can loop across this way nice and quickly, potentially get a nice shot at anything I need to that's over in this part of the world, if there's anything down here. Yeah, that's the area I was on earlier. There's a door right there that I assume goes inside, but I don't see any other mutants. Not yet, but I feel nice and safe upstairs, at least for the time being. Nice hole here to toss grenades into if I had to. One brute asking who's there. I don't know. It's nobody. Totally ignore it. And does this lead... Okay, this leads back up to... That, that, uh-oh. Danger. Danger's not good. Danger... Oh, I see you. Hello. Have you only just got like a... Oh, dear. You've just got a basic thing, don't you? Well, that's fine. You are an excellent candidate for getting my... My criticals are already maxed. Oh, that four-leaf clover and lucky weaponry together. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Beautiful. Right, you were definitely on your own because that wasn't silenced, but even then I managed to kill you and no one else seems to be suspicious. So, I can get down to the ground here, and this leads me yeah, into this area. I'm not sure if I'm actually down on the ground floor yet, but I'm certainly a level lower than I was. Remember that staircase is there to let me get back up again. Hang on, let's just... 
No, we're definitely not at ground level, but we are closer to the ground at least. This also presumably is leading me round to, aside from just a little area out here, actually I might be able to get a good snipe at something from over here potentially, because I know there can be bad things over on like that pillar over there, but this might be another door into presumably the corporate headquarters, right? And, oh, the Vim CEO's office. Well, I can hardly resist going in there. If you want to learn what a company's doing, start at the top and work down. Let's start with what the CEO knew, if we can figure anything out. Is there any... Oh, there's definitely something alive in here. CEO's terminal. Ah, luckily the password is literally there. So I'm not sure why you even flipping bothered to uh, lock that, but whatever. Right. The air sirens went off. I've locked myself in my office, but the reports I've heard on the radio are not good. I can't imagine they would attack here, but who knows what the Chinese will do. Shit, I just heard an explosion outside the building. It can't be them. Why the hell would they attack a pop factory? Oh god, I've got to get out of here. So not much there, just the note from the day the bombs fell. Looks like I'm going to have to meet with the members of the board to clear up this takeover mess. I'm not going to let Nuka bully me into selling the company. We already lost the trademark battle on Quartz. We're probably going to have to see sales in it by the end of next year. I just need to get them to keep faith till we can get Captain's Blend out and start shipping out drinks nationally. we finally got everything nearly in place. We just need to get over the last few hurdles and we can compete on a larger scale. So his terrifying fish lobster drink was where he was pinning all his hopes, was it? Dear oh dear. Another offer from Mr. Conroy. Mr. Reed, Vernon Conroy from Nuka called again today. He's upped the initial buyout offer by 5% and said he'll be sending copies of the offer letter to our investors if you don't start returning his phone calls. Are you sure you don't want to take the offer? Our finances have been in bad shape for years now, sir. I know you have a lot of family pride in the company, but would it really be the worst thing to work under the umbrella of Nuka, Madison Young? Ah, so we've heard more about that. Meanwhile, we're being attacked, but possibly not just by nukes. Mr. Reed, I know you told everyone in the monthly meeting that the troubles in distribution, as you put it, are just coincidences. But with respect, sir, you're wrong. This isn't just a couple of random muggings or thefts. Our trucks have been stolen, shot up, our drivers jumped, even the machine technicians are reporting weird stuff. This isn't just bad luck, this is some kind of attack on the company. If you can't do something about this, we're going to start losing staff. Oh... Did Nuka potentially actually start waging a, well, genuinely violent campaign against these guys to rattle them and otherwise lower the value of the company so they could buy them? Intriguing. And finally, the investors called Conroy. Sir, I didn't mean to go around you. The other investors talked with Vernon Conroy and said that after the various financial troubles from the past year, that if we didn't at least schedule a meeting to discuss it with them, they might sell their stock to him directly. Even if he can get a 5% share, that would entitle him to a seat on the board, and you'd have to meet with him regardless. What do you want me to do? Oh, we've got ourselves a master nearby. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Yeah, there's definitely bad things in here. Let's just quickly... Ah! The Captain's Blend! We've got some here. Nice. Here we are. Vim Captain's Blend. Ah! Yes, indeed. Sea creatures are more hesitant to attack you. So you can actually sneak around like hunters and whatever. That's really cool. Nice and careful. The CEO's office is in fact just advanced locked, nothing more than that. But be aware, there's a master somewhere very, very close by and also a lot of stuff on fire. He's right there. I think I found him. Don't worry. Actually, he doesn't seem that tough. He's only level 42. Fine. Toss a critical at him and then just start going over to normal shots. Hopefully we'll knock the gun out of his hands soon. And I think he's dropped the gun there. Yep, fine. I'm pretty sure he has indeed dropped the gun. Go over to a critical. And then straight into normal shots to get that critical back up. But he's got the gun back. Now just normal shots, please. Two, three, four. And then one more. That's the, the, the flipping. I'm still in danger, mind. Right, he's dead. But there's more yet. Right, okay. Don't worry about him. He had a muzzle, powerful assault rifle. Certainly more dangerous than the flipping pipe weaponry some of these bastards have. And there's... Oh, it's just a brute. Oh, well, that's fine. You may have a minigun, but you're still just a brute, all right? I'm not too worried by you. Right, a few shots for you. Lovely, he's dead. Caution, not danger. Marvellous. And... Oh, there we are. Oh, we got one master, but he's a master who's... Okay, he's a master that's got... Actually, and he's only level 42 again. Critical strike. Yeah, as soon as we've... And we've knocked the weapon out of his hands. So as soon as we've crippled the leg, I'm not too worried by him, to be honest. Unless he picks up a gun. Is he going to pick up a minigun? If he does, that's... Oh, no. 
Oh, yeah, I really need to target the legs more often. It definitely does make life a little bit more easy, doesn't it? And the people of Finch Farm are very unhappy. You may lose control of the settlement if things do not improve. I feel like I've got more important things to worry about, to be honest, right now, game. There you go, like that. Oh, flip, there's a mutant hand right behind him. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Just throwing a bloody, and now there's a bloody glowing one over there. That's fine. We'll just go for a few shots in the head. It's 72% chance. I'll go for one critical, then I'll just follow up with normal shots. I sh probably should stun his head in a second. There we go. Now he's running straight at me. This will be fine. Now we're still in danger, apparently. There's a lot of super mutants, but they are just kind of piling up to me one by one. So this actually kind of works for me as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what's bloody left at this point. Also, the game's really not sure where it wants me to go. Like, there's a quest marker over there, but if I step forward a little bit, it just kind of jumps over there occasionally instead. So, yeah, the quest markers are really not sure exactly where they want to go. And we've got... Ah! A marketing terminal here. Fine, we'll crack that up in a second and see what the logic behind this whole captain's blend thing was the taste of maine so here's something we haven't heard before alex is being framed norman i know you guys are trying to find a way to downplay the incident at the bar but i'm telling you alex didn't do anything to that gal we had three other guys there from the factory they saw the whole thing he stood up to go get a beer and when he turned around she socked him right in the eye he hadn't even got his vision straight when he punched her back it was just reflex he's former military you can't blame him for that so there's some guy called alex who may have been punched by a woman in a bar and punched her back and apparently that didn't play well for him. Norman, I know you don't want to hear this but we have to cancel the TV ads till January with the litigation having to replace trucks and other machinery and the new investment falling through. We just don't have the funds available. You need to call and cancel the ads or I'm gonna have Mr. Reed do it. Madison Young. So clearly that whole sabotage thing was actually having a very big deal on the company. And one final one from the CEO himself. God, Norman, you've no idea how much I needed to hear that this week. I was totally convinced after the issue with the bar fight that the governor was going to completely drop us from becoming the state beverage. I don't know how you managed to convince it to at least see how the case turns out, but it's better than nothing. When we get things turned around and go national, I'll make your hard work worth it. So it was a big campaign to make like uh, the captain's blend of the state beverage that may have been threatened by the fact that someone got into a fight, Potentially, a fight that was staged by Nuka as part of their campaign against these guys, but somehow the marketing guy managed to turn it around and get the governor to give it a go anyway. The Vim Ambassador program was going well for a while, but recently our staff have been having problems with crime. One of the suits of power arm was stolen right off the truck. Another of our ambassadors ended up in hospital after some gal at the bar apparently beat the hell out of him. He said that he hadn't even spoken to her and she just cold clocked him right out of the blue. She told a reporter that he grabbed her. He's got witnesses to agree with him, but it's not playing well in the local news. And of course, that's why there are various bits of Vim Power Armor floating around. The Vim Ambassadors are people who apparently walk around in Vim Power Armor. We know where one of them ended up. It's on the truck that's uh, kind of going up to the Dalton farm. But uh, yeah, I think there's a couple more floating around too. So that's interesting. Good to know that we actually have a marketing campaign that actually explains those being there. And apparently I've completed uncovering Dima's secret medical facility. I didn't realise I had, but apparently I have. Marvellous. And that's completed Best Left Forgotten. Really? Have I? Did I just accidentally find it? Because I didn't really mean to, to be honest. Well, that's fine. I've levelled up to level 69 from that and I've started the way life should be. <laughs> apparently you just need to find this door right here and that's good enough. And we've got Madison's terminal here as well. I think this is the head of R&D. The same person who we heard the notes from up on the roof, wasn't it? Angry letter from the CEO. Ms. Young, I don't care how many times the investors ask you to schedule a meeting with Nuka. My family is still the majority stockholder. I'm still the CEO. Vernon Conroy is a snake. We will never work with Nuka. And if you ever go behind my back to set up a meeting with our competitors, your employment with Vim will be immediately terminated. Oh dear. The CEO seems to be taking this very, very personally. Meanwhile, over in her schedule, call Vernon Connor at Nuka to set up a meeting with the port members. <laughs> oh, dear. And we've also got a glowing Vim refresh up here in the fridge as well. Very nice. Need to remind myself what that one does too. Ah, yes, that's the action points recovery rate. Another very, very good one indeed. Off the side, we've got a lovely little cinema here, yeah, where people watched Vim presentations. But sadly, the monitor is long since broken, so we cannot watch a little show about Vim. But a broken down wall here lets me access... Okay, this is the same staircase I came down from before. But over in here, we've got ourselves advanced locked door here. Nothing major, just a store cupboard. I'm nervous about all the cupboards, because I've heard there's something bad in one of the cupboards. 
So kind of, yeah, a little bit nervous about what might be coming. Every time I open a cupboard, I'm going to be a bit cautious here. And then we've got this door out here that we'll go out to. Ah, this will go out to that lower parking area, the courtyard I saw earlier. I think I've already cleared most of that out, so I'm going to nip out here and finish it off. And no, this isn't where I was expecting to be at all. Yeah, if I step out... Ah, yes, indeed. Right, there's the dead one I shot earlier. And then we've got... That's the front gate there. And then round here... Yeah, we've got that courtyard I mentioned before. So if I just go round here, I swear there's one super mutant on the ground round here. If we can just get him down, I think he's just... Ah, it's just one. Oh, I've already, it's the one I've even already shot, to be honest. Right, 95% chance in the head. No worries, you'll just be taken down in two or three hits. And there's another door into the Vim factory. But other than that, I think now, yes, this courtyard is now clear. Fine. And I'm pretty sure then, yeah, the double door upstairs from here... We'll lead up into the... Oh, hello. What are you, by the way? You are a master, but do you need to go down? You might need to go down. Are you going to hold still? If you're going to hold still, that'll do. Just fire some lovely Lucky Lorenzo at him, because that thing really hits hard. It's beautiful. All right, he's dead. There might be a little bit more around the front here. I think there might be another one... Up there-ish. Oh, you're just a flipping skirmisher. Right, okay. I think I think we can handle a level 16 skirmisher. That was possibly overkill for a skirmisher, in fact. Lucky Lorenzo is not required for skirmishers. But it's nice to pop his head straight off, too. And while I think about it, we may as well clear out the front door as well. One Super Mutant Master. Critical. Lucky Lorenzo. The bone is critical on this. Should be enough to... Yep, that is... Ooh, kind of blasted the face off his face there. Very good. Also, don't forget to level up. That's the thing I'm allowed to do too. I could take a rank of knight person if I want to. Pretty much pointless, so I'm not going to, but I could. Most sensible thing I can do here, just keep piling in some endurance. Get that endurance higher and higher. That's got my, uh, yeah, hang on, move over to my stats here. Oh, almost 700 hit points. That's looking more like it now. Yes. Right, let's nip into the factory. Start exploring here. And it looks like everything I'm after, in terms of the pump regulator and demon secret, are very, very close together. Let's just be very careful. Aha! We've got ourselves some lovely Vim power armor right flipping there. Well, that might be a nice little thing to slip on, just to give myself... Is that a master and a... That's a skirmisher over there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to... Toss some grenades over to... Yeah, over there. Do you? Lovely, the skirmish is dead, and the master's about to run into that room. Totally. So that'll do a bit more damage to him. I've probably just kind of broken that power armor, but whatever. Where are you? I'm nervous, because I haven't actually... There's no bed here, so I haven't actually saved since the flipping... Uh, yeah, since we actually uh, saved back in uh, the actual Nucleus Command Center. So it's been a while. And I'm not sure if it's sensible to... Yeah, there's a fusion core in here. I could enter this thing right now, but it's only T51. The loss of stealth might not be flipping worth it, to be honest. Right, hello. You're a master. You know what? I want you to go down nice and quick and easy. There you go. Not taking any risks. All right? Don't want to die here. Been a while since we've saved. Would rather not. Utility Protectron hidden in there. Could be a useful-ish ally. Could also potentially draw a lot of fire I don't want drawn to me. So that could be... Ah, one master in there. I'll take the critical. Let's just get him down. Hidden so no one saw that happening. Good. Double master takedown there. And then we've got through here. One door. That doesn't go anywhere. I'm detected, but not in caution. So, is that the Protectron in the... I don't think they actually woke up and they weren't able to detect you until such time as you actually activated them. But never mind. Right, I'm going to activate this guy if I can, because he will, at the bare minimum, be a useful distraction. Ah, we've got a response from the CEO about that note that was written to him about how the guy in the bar was framed for the fight. You don't need to call me Mr. Reed Willis. You've been working at this factory for as long as I've been alive. Your sons and I went to school together when you were working for my father. I believe you about Alex. I'm making some calls and I'll front the bail money. We'll get this cleared up, but I can't let you start to panic about this. Please just let me try and get things sorted out. So, 
The CEO, Mr. Reed, was young and possibly way too committed to always taking the side of the people who he considered loyal to his family and not open to new ideas. Potentially a very bad boss indeed. And there was disquiet in the factory too, despite the fact the word from above was technically this is all an accident or let's just handle some hazard pay. Spread word that everyone from manufacturing and distribution is going to meet after work on Friday to discuss the attacks that have been going on. I don't care what they say in the office, we're the ones out here with our butts on the line. Between the out of order signs, the stolen trucks, the bitch framing Alex and that stolen power armour, there's clearly a pattern even if they don't want to see it. If Mr. Reed can't do anything to protect us, we'll organise and do it ourselves. So that was the beginnings of, well, not quite really a mutiny, but certainly things not quite as they should be here. Conflict between the CEO and the workers. And let's get this Protectron online. All right, one Protectron on duty. Very nice. How tough are you, by the way? You are only a level 14. Right, you're not going to do that well, but you will at least draw some fire and attention off me. So that's good. Oh, I think we got sight on that's the master down there. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to take a shot with this. Charge that up. Down he goes. Oh, that was a double shot there by accident. Never mind. And if I was to jump from here, I could make it down onto here. And are there any controls? Something there is. No. There's a gun, but not actually anything used for that. Another quartz. But no buttons to push, tragically. I was kind of hoping for a button to push there. Now we drop down to here. And now I'm a little bit more exposed than I want to be. I think this is where you... Yeah, this is very close by to Dima's secret medical facility. So now I've accidentally dropped down onto this lower area to get that quartz. I really hope there's a way back up, by the way. Oh, looks like there's a way to get... No, that's just a very small way back up. That doesn't go anywhere near back to the top. Teddy bear hung from a bloody rope over a gore bag here. Lovely. Oh, hang on. Meat bag, technically. Not actually a gore bag. Are they all meat bags? Did that change between Fallout 3 and 4? They changed the gore bags to the meat bags. Ah! Massive door here, can be unlocked but requires terminal. I feel like I might not want to open this one. I think I found the door I was thinking about, yes. There's a massive stompy noise going on behind this door. So I feel like potentially we don't open this door just yet until we're really confident we can handle what's beyond the door. Oh, I think I've stumbled across a whole bunch of super mutants and I think I actually have them exactly where I want them. Lovely, just tossing all of the grenades. Are those dogs there? I think those are dogs there that haven't... Oh, yeah, yeah, there they are. Yeah, they definitely are. But you, you all haven't died yet, right? I think you all haven't died yet. Oh, yeah. So, there's definitely a few people floating around here. You're a... Oh, you're a warlord. Right, well, that's no good. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And now, you just... Critical to the face. Well, that'll do. There you go, that'll finish you off. Right, back over to something a little bit more flimsy. What are you? Oh, you're just a master who's got, I'm pretty sure, a crippled leg there. Right, what else have we got down here? You were the guys who were totally in the tub. You've been melted as well. <laughs> Those are the guys that just sleep in the nice tub having a lovely little bath down there. Because, uh, yeah, the Super Mutants spend their lives looking for vats of the green stuff and they finally found it. It just wasn't quite what they were thinking it was, I think. And then we've got, yeah, there's definitely something over here. And I'm, oh god, I'm so low on ammo. 22 shots left in this thing. That's it. Now that is, uh, ah! There's the pump regulator I need. Perfect. So that is all of the quests for the children. Okay, back to caution. Which is good, but we're close by to Demon's medical facility as well here. Where is the last one? He's somewhere. I was don't bloody know where exactly. Fine, leave him be for now. Instead, help ourselves to the steamer trunk contents. Ah, I will actually have a decent amount of, yeah, the, the two shot. Oh, yeah, I've got a decent amount of that. That's a lot of hitting power. Oh, I see him over there. And that is, oh, nice. That'll do. One matter taken out with a headshot with a silenced pistol. That is suitably badass. One room over here I can't open, but, ah, with a novice terminal, I probably can. Mixing terminal here. Oh, I wonder if I could have used this to, like, turn on the mincing blades and mixed all those super mutants in the tubs. That would have been cool. Ah, the mixing terminal has some notes that would appear to be post-war. We came to the island a few weeks ago. I've been feeling strangely calm since we got here. Not sure if it's this weird Vim stuff or the fog, but the others don't seem to feel it. If anything, they seem more violent. We took out another group of harbormen today. Mostly I just stood there watching as Grun smashed his way through their camp. 
I don't know why we're doing it anymore. There's plenty of hunting on the island. When I brought it up to the others, they threatened to kill me if I turned weak like one of the humans. Grunt took a swipe at me, but he's slow enough that I was able to dodge it. I figured out a plan. I found the password to the storage area in the office. If I can lock Grun up in that section of the basement, the others are probably not going to be able to unlock the terminal. While they're busy trying to let him out, I'll be gone before they realise. Find somewhere quiet to live on my own, and if they manage to let Grun out, he'll probably be so mad he'll attack them. So, Grun, someone who went a bit mad, and also the security door control I was after. So yes indeed, actually, that's confirmation. The super mutants that are here were actually not created by the forced evolutionary virus. They were created through regular humans, by the sounds of it, drinking a very large amount of vim. Well, not necessarily, or it could have been more intelligent super mutants who became stupider from being exposed to the vim in large quantities, possibly. But still, now we've heard about that Grun guy, I feel like we should probably go and investigate him at some point. And yeah, tragically, as far as I can tell, no way to turn on the blades inside the mixing tanks in such a way as would mince up some super mutants, as amazing as that would be. And interestingly, this is actually listed as water as far as the game's concerned. Is it actually water? Or is it actually... Well, it's irradiated water anyway. So yes, it apparently just counts as water, even though it does appear to just be Vim. And indeed, if we head down into the flooded area I saw earlier, yes, indeed, this is where good old Grun happens to live. And I'd say, yeah, we now know what we're dealing with here. A very big, very violent super mutant. Let's just very quickly do the terminal. Oh, no, it's advanced. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not fair. Not fair. We're doing this, all right? Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen, ways and means will be found. I'm just going to check around to see if there happens to be a password somewhere. There could be a password, or if there isn't, yes, don't worry. We'll find a way into that room. I'm getting Grun out, damn it. I want to meet Grun in person. Well, for the moment at least, that means we're heading into Dima's private medical research area here. Locked away, interestingly, less securely than Grun is, but never mind. Door open, mysterious metal helmet here. Call the button, let's go down to Dima's secret facility. And right here, of course, buried away in an unmarked grave. If we dig, even though we have no way of digging, because we don't have a spade or anything. Oh, New Vegas, you would have insisted I had a shovel, damn it. We have got ourselves a few bits and pieces here. Let's get what's done is done playing here. Is it going to be painful? Yes. It's going to be like having everything you are ripped out and replaced with something else. Someone else. I'm ready. I just I wish I could say goodbye to everyone. No one else can know. Signs of life detected. This isn't just Can about you? infiltrating Far Harbor. If you need assistance, please approach the intercom. Drawn here need to meet. Reasonable. Willing to accept them as just another living thing. No greater or lesser than humanity itself. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a sin. Did she have to die? The, the woman I'm replacing? God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours. An unpleasant double murder there. Dima murdered the original Avery and indeed murdered a sentient independent entity in the form of whoever the original synth was in order to, yeah, replace that person with a fake Avery. So, yeah, a bit of a double murder there, to be honest. Indeed, I need to go and speak to Kai E. I don't know how you pronounce that. Kai Y E 1 via the intercom. Though I think you can't do it. I think I don't actually have a way of. Uh, infiltrating this little final bit of lab over here. Where is the intercom, by the way? Ah, there it is. Hello, Kai E 1.1. Yeah, I think I don't have whatever I need to speak to you, but we'll give it a go. Rescanning. User isn't approved to enter the medical containment area. Can't say I mind the company, though. It's been a while. And yes, indeed, I can. Ah, I can try and force them to open up with an orange speech check. Who exactly are you, by the way? I completely didn't bother speaking to you last time. Who or what are you? My specification files list me as a computer simulation, an artificial intelligence. Kai 1.1 is my version number, although I've been thinking of dropping it down to just Kai, you know, something more 
personable. Ah, Kai 1.1. Now I know how to pronounce your name. Who's approved to enter that room? My biometric scanners have been calibrated for something called a prototype synth. Ah, indeed. So I could bring Nick Valentine here, but it uh, looks like I might just be able to do it with an orange speech. Check that if I'm lucky, I might be able to do right now with all my gear on. I don't think any approved user is going to show up. You can either let me in, or you can keep waiting for eternity. Your choice. Hmm. Nice. Good. Very well. There you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, my power capacity is a bit low, so I'm going to go into reserves. Best of luck to you. And here we are inside the room I didn't bother with last time. Marvelous. I'm carrying too much and can't run. That's fine. I'm sure I can get rid of some stuff I don't need. So what have we got in here? Because I believe we've got a unique gun in here, if I recall correctly. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else good in here either. So we've got... Yes, indeed. Ah, here we are. December's Child. So yes, December's Child, this is a unique variant of the combat rifle that is truly unique. You know, in fact, I wish there were more of these. A unique weapon that actually has an effect you couldn't just find out in the world. So this thing uses the 5.56 ammo rather than the normal .45, as well as having the faster fire rate and faster reload. Now, as you may recall me mentioning previously, I am in the market for a new day-to-day -day weapon. This thing's base damage is 94, and right now its base just got, yes, standard receiver, short barrel. I can make it a lot better. And at a base weight of 13.1, that's not even that bad. So... We'll see about this. We'll take it with us and we'll see. What I think I'm ultimately going to do is I'm also going to go and get the Overseer's Guard and we might compare them side by side and see which I like better. Because this thing might just have the higher DPS with the faster fire rate, together with the lighter weight and the kind of the more accessible, cheaper ammo. But we'll see. I'll probably go for one of those two as my new kind of day-to-day -day weapon. So with all of that done, we may as well now head back with that pump regulator and all the rest of it back towards, uh, yeah, the children of I'm Now Infected. Why am I infected? Why would I get infected? I don't feel like I ought to get infected just from swimming. I feel like I should be resistant from waterborne diseases given the game is encouraging me to go swimming. But never mind, whatever. Yes, back to the children because now I can do all the quests for them. And I'm kind of hoping that might push me up to the next level so I can actually take hacking too, purely for the sake of going and finding Gran. Now, also trying to max out XP here. So that means I need the highest intelligence possible. What can I do to help out with that? Daddio gets my intelligence up by three, lovely. And Mentat's up by a further two. And I could do Excel for once, but I kind of feel like, well, I want to say, I want to save that for an emergency. I will save that for an emergency the entire game and never bloody use it. So sure, why not? Excel! I am thirsty at this point. Oh yeah, I should have foreseen that one coming, shouldn't I? Do all of those. I'm now mildly dehydrated. And I should now be up to intelligence of only nine. That feels not that high, but never mind. Right, hello there, System I. And let's just quickly turn in this. Here's some pump regulators for you. Nice and quick. Oh, I have to do something else for her first. Damn it, the drugs might wear off. Okay, don't worry about that. She also gives me radical conversion, which I don't actually want. So I'm going to sell that back to her immediately. Sister Gwyneth won't be troubling you any longer. She brought it on herself. Won't ask you for the details. Doesn't really matter to me. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, brother. Glory to Adam. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam. Oh yeah, Adam's judgment, which I really don't want and I might just sell because it's not really that useful to me. I mean, like, it's fun, but, like, it's not for my character and it weighs flipping 20 for goodness sake. And also, apparently, this guy is just running around pointing guns. Okay, this is unusual. What's going on here? Why are you panicking? Right, round here, down here, down to the bottom. Let's fix this up nice and quickly while still under the influence of the plus intelligence for loads more XP. Hopefully it'll last at least a few minutes. I'm going to take a lot of rads while I'm down here, by the way. But that's, that's, oh yeah, quite a few rads actually. When you say um, I'm willing to do that, the infection is also spreading. Marvellous. Right, over here. Nice and quick, but I've got really high intelligence, so I should be able to do this nice and easily. Intelligence of 7+. plus. Yeah, reverse the bypass, thereby fixing a decontamination system. Nice. Plug that in. And now I've got myself a beautiful system that takes all of the rads away. So it doesn't matter, I'm taking all these rads right now. So as soon as I've tested that, I should get the XP for that quest. Oh, the XL's worn off, and it's picked a really bad time to wear off.
Yeah, that's my strength now because I'm carrying around this stupid, massive, heavy hammer. And out we come. Test this. And as soon as I push this button, I believe that's ablutions completed. 424. And then I'm hoping that will immediately, automatically complete the overarching quest for this area. There we are. What atom request? Oh, that was only 363. Oh. Well, that's flipping disappointing. So sadly, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't managed to scrounge together enough XP to go and visit Grunt today, but do not worry. Before we are done with Far Harbor, we are going to go and visit Grunt. I'm going to flipping make it happen, damn it. And in fact, not just him. There are two unique and interesting super mutants on this island. Again, I haven't gone and visited the other one yet either. So we've got to do a little bit of super mutant visitation yet. And indeed, I kind of wonder, now I've read that terminal note, whether the other super mutant might just be the one one who actually fled from the guys in the Vim Pop Factory. We shall see. But I'm going to call it apart there anyway. I would say the Vim Pop Factory is probably like, it's probably the hardest dungeon in the whole of Far Harbor. Like the Nucleus Command Center probably has a harder boss to it. But yeah, all of those primus is floating around in the actual uh, Vim Factory itself. I think overall it is a little bit more difficult. So next time we will go and visit some super mutants. We will go and get a nuclear launch key and we need to figure out how we're going to wrap all this up. I think I know what we need to do. We are, after all, going for a brotherhood run. So I think we know what needs to happen to sin. So all that's coming up, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Thank you very much. And goodbye. We're going to build a large green park as a memorial to the bloody place that wouldn't stop burning down. Oh, gosh darn it. The building next door is just catching fire instead. Can I just kind of demolish a church or something to make room for it? Because I will. Then next to the magnificent city hall, a giant statue of me.